So let's go to a Lechatterley's uh, principal problem. So you, you're given here the reaction to ICL producing I2 and Cl. And you're given the delta H that is positive, which means it is an endothermic reaction. So let's look at each of the stress and predict the equilibrium shift and the effect on the ICL. So increase in I2. So if there's an increase in I2, so that means this goes up. So the reaction favor, the one that will utilize it. So the backward reaction is favored. Okay. And the effect of the ICL2, since it goes to the backward reaction, you produce more ICL. So the concentration of ICL increases. Now, with respect to the other one, decrease in Cl2, so you have it here. So when there's a decrease, you need to replace the reaction favors the forward reaction. Since the forward reaction is favored, you utilize ICL, so it's in concentration decreases. Now, increase in pressure. So if you're going to look at the number of items that you have here, you have two on this side, you have two on this side, so there's no shift. Because they have the same pressure. And there's no effect on the concentration. Now decrease in the temperature, so this is what? Endothermic, so the heat is here. So if there's a decrease in the temperature, the reaction favors the one that produces heat. So the backward reaction is the one that is favored. And there's an increase in the concentration of the ICL because the backward reaction is favored. Now addition of catalyst, catalyst don't really has an effect except it makes the uh, reaction reach the equilibrium faster. So we could say the ship it's not affected and there's no effect on the ICL concentration, okay?